to what um, are the terms and conditions of the contract um, Peruzi signed with you? Okay, um, it's, a, it's quite a long contract. It's over 14 pages. So I'll just, you know, summarize, summarize it as simple as possible. Um, the contract Peruzi has with me is a standard recording contract. The standard recording contract. And um, the three year contract is signed in November 2016 and it expired um, November 28, 2020. Now, in that contract, anything Peruzi does in the studio is property of Golden Boy Entertainment. Even if he records it in Mars or Jupiter or in the Little Stomach, it is true property of Golden Boy Entertainment. So, um, um, all the songs have been recording, everything he has put out there, including the features, everything is property of Golden Boy Entertainment because Golden Boy Entertainment is, um, copyright, is under the copyright laws of Nigeria. So, therefore, anybody I sign is, um, um, any music Golden Boy Entertainment produces is, is, copy, is under the copyright laws of Nigeria. So, um, and those things are currently saying, my song, my song, if they are not his songs because I paid for those songs to go. To. So that is the part of the contract that really matters right now. All this of Perizzi's, all the records of Perizzi is owned by um, Golden Boy Entertainment, whether he records it with the video or he's featured by another artist. So that is up until 2018? 2019. 2019. November. So everything he has done up until 2019, November, are yours? Are mine, yes. Okay. Um, so, what? Yeah, I'm sure you've seen his reaction, and his reaction to it. He said he sold his songs to Nollywood without his consent. So, okay, in now, that um, contract, uh, yes, do you need his consent to make these transactions? And how was he going to be compensated if that was what happened? Okay, now, um, in the in the um, CAC documents of Golden Boy Entertainment, the directors of Golden Boy Entertainment are. <clears throat> Myself as the chairman and Mrs. Chineze Anyene as the other director. Mrs. Chineze is the chairman of the Oscar Nominations Committee of Nigeria. You can look her up, Mrs. Chineze Anyene, and which automatically makes her a shareholder in a lot of movies in Nollywood right now. Now, in the contract, we owe him no consent when we are using product of Golden Boy Entertainment because. In the contract, we are not supposed to, or we, it's, it's our choice to decide if we want to um, take permission from him. He doesn't have any position in, in the in the CAC document to um, demand any compensation or anything because this is someone that's already on salaries, allowances, percentages. He does he's not he, he, he doesn't have position to make that decision in our company. Based on the contract. Based on the contract, yes. Was he aware of all this before signing the contract? Perizzi is someone who didn't even honor the basic part of the contract. How would he be aware of anything else in the contract? Hmm. My bear in mind, we are dealing with an unruly person, someone who dropped out of school, someone who 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 is literally um, a cult member or whatever they, they call themselves. He is completely unruly and he has breached every single part of the contract. I could share the soft copy of the contract with, um, with, with you and you could actually take your time and read it. All his claims, if he can provide evidence of that in line with the contract he signed, then no problem. You should because when I was going to court for the past two years, he didn't even bother attending any of the conferences or nothing. So it's, is this not case the, currently in court? Yes, it is in court. And I can give you the suit number. It's in the Lagos State High Court as we speak, and it's in the matters of arbitration in the multi door courthouse. Okay, so going forward now, you've okay. you've stated your case on social media. He has also stated his own, and it's becoming mm -hmm. to look sentimental mm -hmm. and messy because some have decided to look at it from the angle of you saying, oh, you paid for his school fees, you helped him, and others are saying, yeah. okay, let's just look at the contract. What well, exactly do you want from all this? Okay. Um, first of all, I was really calm about it. I was saying, okay, I, I have to try and speak to these people 
and try and um, come to an agreement. I tried to do that for two years. Everyone as far as um, withdrawing the case from the court sometime in 2018, just to make headway with DMW, to let them understand that I'm not here to fight. I just want to make peace, move forward, so that everyone can be happy. You understand? Unfortunately, they took me very seriously and disregarded all my approaches and requests. I went to bury this house sometime in early November, and what I got was an ambush. He attacked me. I have a full recording of that, so I'm going to release that in due time. He attacked me. He called the money I invested in him chicken change. He said he played me. He locked the room. His Him and his goons brought out weapons, and they wanted to literally F me up in the house and then record me and make it look like I came house to fight and um, demand my money. Then they will now put it on their social media and paint my that person. But as God may have it, I was recording every single moment of when I was being ambushed and attacked. And I also, um, I would have been ambushed and attacked. So uh, um, I was in the house with a few of them were like kind of like a neutral and saying the residents. First Patrick is my get complicated and I managed to escape. It was at that moment I knew that this boy was not ready to negotiate, give me any any of my money or do anything. So I decided to, you know, show him what the consequences of his actions are. And everything I'm doing right now is a direct result of the ambush. Are you understanding where I'm coming from? If I've been calm for two years, you are probably wondering why I'm coming out now to talk, to act like this. That is because my life was on the line. And I have to put it out on the general public to know so that if anything happens to me, they will know it is Peruzzi, who is, who, was, who, who is probably a murderer. Because if he has, if he's doing this to me of all people, you can imagine other people he may have done it to. So I need to defend myself, and the general public needs to know. Imagine I'm going doing clouds and everything. My sister, if I died, if I died on that day, would there be any clouds to change? Would there, wouldn't it be the story be a different story today? So I have to expose, you know, the whole um, DMW and Peruzzi. Okay, you because just mentioned um, DMW. What is yes. DMW's role in this? And you also said Davido owes you. So how is is this about Peruzzi or Davido or how does Davido come into play? This is about everybody that is aware that he signed the contract because I share the contract with all of them. So they shouldn't be act they shouldn't act ignorant. If at what point Peruzzi, at what point did Davido um find out that he was signed under Golden Boy Entertainment? The first, the first day me and Davido spoke on a video call in November 2017. I video called Davido and I said, Davido, I signed this guy. I have a full conversation with Davido. That one I put on my connection with Davido. That was in um, um, February 2018. That wasn't recent. That was February 2018. So Davido was 155% sure that he really was under contract. And I had shared the contract with Bobo, that's Prince, Davido's lawyer. I told Bobo, guide Peruzzi so that he doesn't breach this contract. So they, and I also have evidence of that. So they cannot act like they don't know what he was signed. Davido knows very well what he was doing because every single time he breached my contract, I made Davido know. Davido, how far? This is your boy, you're giving him mind to um, disregard my contract to. What's going on? Try and fix him. Put, put him in order. As a matter of fact, I will share the whole DM. Let everybody read it. Because Davido is very much aware. So when people come out online and say, leave Davido out of it, uh-uh. Davido and Peruzzi are in the same WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when um, you inform Davido each time this contract um, is breached, what were his responses? I didn't, brother. I didn't. I didn't. I, I mean, sign up. I know sign up now. Go meet him. You do business with Shepay. That's all I hear. Oh, okay. So he constantly yeah. hid under the fact that he has not he signed Peruzzi. He constantly pushed me back. Okay. Constantly. There is no time. You see, everybody in the whole DMW group, I had reached out to every single person. From the Vido, the Oga, to the, even Michael A1, Peruzzi, um, this man, or, or bodyguard, whoever he is. I have reached out to him and said, please, I'm please. I'm talking about, I'm not, I'm not even lying. I was begging, like, guys. 
I need my money. You, Beruji is going for show. Beruji is going for show. And you guys are not remitting anything back to me. I even went as far as sent out. I, I sent each, I put them all in the group chat and sent all of them a message. Mm. Do you understand? And told them, they all, they are all aware of what's going on. Nobody in DMW should act ignorant about this. Nobody in DMW should say, leave David Doe out of it. David Doe is actually more, more, more guilty than Peruzzi because he encouraged him. It, it, it is, is under David Doe's umbrella. You can't be training someone who is unruly to so I, I don't even understand where I'm, where I'm coming from. Hmm. You okay, what, what about from? about the songs um, you shared? I think um, Fire was one of them. You okay? Now let me, let me make that very. Let me, let me explain this now that I'm talking to the general public. As I said earlier, every single thing that we record between 2006 and 2019 are properties of Golden Boy Entertainment. So if they really go to Davido's house to record Fire at that mind. I just do by Larry Gaga, one baby, um, risky, and a lot more songs that we haven't that they haven't released. They are my record, and the video. I don't know what he gives Peruzzi and what he does for Peruzzi, but Peruzzi gives him those records that he had recorded while he was with me in Abuja when we were watching. So that first song I released, um, um, the fire. I release. I've had that a time before it was released. Do you understand what I'm trying to explain to you? Yes, I do. Davido is an accomplice and he should be held responsible for everything Perizzi is doing because he is the number he is he knows he knows everything. You also mentioned yeah. at some point that your name your name was taken off of the royalties. Does okay, it mean no, it was there my, at some point? Me and Sony Music. When um, the video recorded Fire and I and I and I approached him like, yo, bro, that is my record. What are you gonna do about it? He was like, oh, no problem. I'm gonna put you on 20%, and you'll be getting royalties. And I'm like, oh, okay, great, fair enough. Let me um, send the document over from Sony. Sony contacted me. They sent the royalty documents to me. I signed 20% of mine. I'm gonna send everything to Benny Art. everything. I signed my 20%. This was two years ago. Fine. How far Sony, where's my money? He said the video has refused to sign his 40% percentage claim of the song. I'm like, okay, well, David, how far can you sign it? David refused to sign. He said the royalties are from his daughters, that he's keeping his royalties from his daughters. I'm like, okay, um, this guy's not willing to talk. Let me just allow that one for now and mind my business and handle other things. Next thing, fast forward to two years later, I contact Sony. I tell Sony, um, yes, that was before the release Risky. Now, if you go on Risky on all digital platforms, you check, like on Spotify, check who wrote the song. They will clearly write to BHP, Victor Oko. Now, firstly, that means it's my record, right? If you don't, where is and Sony Music, what about my percentage? Because mind you, Sony Music had already emailed me asking for permission to release Risky. Do you understand? And I was like, I'm, I'm not aware of that. What about my percentage? And I said, oh, sorry. Um, DMW just confirmed now that Peru is going to remove this. I'm like, what do you mean? It's already been released, and Peru is the owner of this song, and now you're trying to kick me out of the royalties. They're like, yeah, that's what they said we should do. I'm like, okay, what about Fire? Where is my royalties for Fire? They now sent the percentage split to me, and to show you how um, ignorant these people are, they, 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 they added about four more um, benefactors of Fire. Whereas when the split is supposed to be at least 100%, it was 165%. And they took out Golden Boy Entertainment from those royalties. I can really capture that and Sony will be hearing from my lawyer soon. Right, right now, as we speak, they are trying to negotiate. Um, um, okay, Patrick says um, we'll give you this and give you that. I'm like, I'm sorry, we've passed that stage. Who is negotiating? Point, um, um, BMW, the video is negotiating with me right now as we speak. And the ticking change, they can't even read it. Okay. It's not even the full ticking change. I just asked for, okay, fine, before Christmas, um, before New Year's, pay me bulk money, 10 million, and maybe I will start talking to you guys. 
but we are trying to raise, raise. I'm talking about raise, it. 30 billion, and we try to raise 10 million since so two months ago. So please, please tell me, who are the kidding? Are you 30 BG? Are, look, are we sue them for everything they have, and they will change their name to 25 BG? Wow. Fine. And we don't have time for to deal with illiterate and ignorant people that don't that. They think I'm a pushover. I'm not a pushover. I'm not, I'm nobody's mate in the MW. So if they actually want to call for war, I'm ready. Because they, 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 they crossed the line the moment I was ambushed. They crossed the line. Now they're going to know who I am. They already have the mind to ask me, you go know who I be, your chicken change. I'll release that full recording. I have one hour recording of when I was ambushed. I just dropped snippets. And I've thought that with six things against this guy. So if they really want to fight, let me believe I've already dug their grave and I'll bury mad for all of them. What, what, what do they take me for? What do these guys take me for? These guys are the reason why I haven't signed other artists. And is the reason why other record label executives are scared of signing all these upcoming artists. Damaging our industry. If I brought out Peruzzi, does it not mean I have somehow influenced the whole dynamics of the of our style of Afrobeat? Why do, why can't I be compensated or why don't I get credit? Why? Because Peruzzi is greedy. Using my money to buy Mercedes and going online and sitting down, is it your money? Have you paid your bills? I've been in this industry for nine years. I've paid my bills. And that's why I have the respect in the industry that, that I get. But Perry just came to this industry in 2017. And now he's coming country in 2019. Country of what? All right. Um, thank let's you so guide, much let, for your let's time. Let's all be guided, okay? Yeah. Let us all be guided in this industry. I will use the good. Well, every upcoming artist who thinks they can mess up the industry for investors like us. I've impressed a lot of artists that they've all done well and they all paid me and we are all happy and we are all good. Then who does Perry really think he is? I brought him up from everything to from nothing to everything he is. I even did that long hair is using I'm losing control. I that's my style. I gave it to him. That is how detailed I was with this boy. Paid him salaries, buried his mother, tried to take him to school. Everything a brother would do for a brother, and this is how you repay me. No, I'm not ready to talk to you anymore. I'm ready to rip you apart and get my money from you. Because there's no mercy, no mercy at all. Okay. I've tried, I've really tried. Two years is not easy. Yeah, you have. All right. Thank you so much for your time.